On your mark, get set. Right, right. So I couldn't fit my response in the comments, so I just figured I'd make you a video. So what borax is, is a compound of four things, boron, oxygen, hydrogen, and water. And I don't know the scientific terms, but whatever those four things together do, they do it very well and they do it better than just straight boron. There's a lot of people out there that think that the combo is laundry detergent and it's uh, you know, it, it's toxic for you, but it's not. It's really just those four things. And it's been around since 1891. It's the same formula. The company is um, family owned and operated. And if you watch some of the videos I have posted, I have over 40 videos about Borax posted. That's how much I uh, just love this stuff. I've been using it for two years. Um, it's changed my health. It's changed hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people's lives, literally. Um, if you go to my page and you look at my Borax playlist, you will see over 40 videos and it tells you the history of Borax, why it's in the laundry aisle, which you can thank the Rockefellers for that one, um, and the dosage, all, all of the stuff. But if you go to earthclinic.com and you type in Borax, you'll see all kinds of really great information about it that you can just read. Um, but the, the dosage on that website is one eighth of a teaspoon uh, for women in a large glass of water and one quarter of a teaspoon in a large glass of water for men. I always tell people that if you're gonna start, start slow. Um, and what I do is I take a pinch of borax, I take a pinch of baking soda, Bob's Red Mill preferred, um, and a pinch of Celtic sea salt, definitely Celtic sea salt, not Himalayan pink sea salt, not table salt. You want Celtic salt. This is what has over 82 minerals in it. It has magnesium, potassium, calcium. It helps with headaches. It helps with um, hydration, uh, water absorption. It helps you sleep better. It does all kinds of amazing things. So that's what I do every morning when I wake up. And what Borax does for your body is... It can help balance out your hormones. It can lower inflammation. It fights candida, thrush, fungus, yeast. It is a incredible pain reliever. It helps with arthritis pain, swelling. People that have not been able to move their joints for years take this stuff and are able to move their joints or their knees stop hurting or their feet stop hurting. It's absolutely incredible. The other thing it does is it balances out libido for men. And I don't know if I said this again, but um, hormones for women, it helps balance hormones. And it decalcifies your pineal gland and it removes fluoride from your body. Removes fluoride from your body. Do you understand that they have been trying to pump us with fluoride since the very beginning with Rockefeller because they know that it makes us sick, it makes our bones brittle, and it mutes our pineal gland, which makes us complacent. So um, take a look at my playlist on my page and hopefully that'll help give you some more information. Earthclinic.com has great information. There are scientific studies out there about this stuff working. That's why it's banned in over 30 countries. It's a rabbit hole, you guys. Go get yourself some. It's in the laundry aisle at Walmart. I hope that helps. And I also forgot to tell you, it is a detoxifier. So it detoxifies heavy metals from your body, um, parasites, funguses, things like that. And the one important thing with borax is that sometimes if you're overloaded with toxins in your body, which most people are, if you're feeling bad and you have arthritis and you have gut issues and things like that, most likely, and you got that thing that they were handing out in 2020, um, or any of them for that matter, you have heavy metals in your body. If you're breathing, you have heavy metals, the water, the air, the soil, it's all poisoned. Um, so what happens is the borax will help to detoxify that stuff out of your body, some of it. Um, 
and you can have what are called herxing reactions, which are kind of flu-like symptoms when you first start. That's why I say to start very low and slow. Um, and it can be uncomfortable because your body is trying to expel the toxins as fast as it possibly can. And sometimes it gets trapped inside of you and it can't move it out quick enough. So it starts to give off um, Herxheimer reactions is what they're called. But it's like flu-like symptoms, headache, nausea, fatigue, um, could be constipation, diarrhea, upset stomach, things like that. Um, if that happens to you, you can take a charcoal pill. And that will help to bind those toxins. The charcoal will kind of absorb all of that and then remove it from your body through your stool um, and your urine for you and help move that process along for you. But I have lots of other videos about castor oil packs and liver detoxes and detox baths, all kinds of things that you can do to help those processes with um, taking borax or doing parasite cleanses or any kind of detoxes, it's always nice to try to assist your body in um, being able to be at optimum levels so that it can do that process because that's what it's built to do. Um, sweating, um, urinating, um, you know, going to the bathroom, those kind of things are your body detoxing. Sweating is a big one. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to make sure you know that um, there can be some detox symptoms. Just be careful, pay attention to your, what your body's telling you and take some charcoal pills if that happens. So 